How's it going, guys? This is Upside Down Ace, and I'm playing with my friend Mackie Max 63, and we're going to show you how to get the Elemental Cleaver on Raven Down. It's a hide and seek game that involves a crazy redneck snowman and looking way off in the distance. Weird, right? But I won't spoil how it ends, and trust me, it's good, so stick around and watch. Now, you're going to want to use a group of at least one or two people to start off because you're going to want to share your monies and get both command posts. That's what starts the hide and seek game. I guess it's like counting to 10, but with $2,000. I don't know. But the command post thing, it's a little silly, but there's only two of them, so it's no big deal, right? Now, let's briefly talk about Raven now while I run around here. It works in this game if this game didn't have the Retro Lancer, because it's got good hit detection, so you can have good Nasher battles, but the Retro Lancer is like carrying around a power weapon, especially on a map this small. Now, to start the game of Hide and Seek, you want to go to go to the right, to the Train Spawn, and, you know, it's just right to your right. Really easy to find. Thankfully, small map. You can do this in about one or two waves. And, thankfully, the blizzard nether hit me. Now, look up here. Not at that building. The building to the left of it is the shortest building. And you're going to see Mr. Snowman. There we go. Shoot him until he goes boom. There we go. And that starts the second stage of the hide-and-seek game. Go back to the monument spawn named for the trees, I'm guessing. There are a lot of trees in the monument spawn, so I guess trees and monuments relate somehow. And he's going to be in the second, flo second, bleh, second floor of this window here. It's second from the right, and you see him poof up, and I'm going to shoot him until he goes boom again. Okay, that's two down and one to go. Now run over to the left to the fire spawn. Here's the hardest one to see, and I'm amazed anybody could even find this snowman. He pops up right behind that tree and if you don't see him poof he's a little tricky to spot but you shoot him until he goes boom and we finally have the hide and seek game over now we just need to find the darn thing and we need nine hundred dollars for the cleaver so i'm just going to cut out this little wave one completed thing here so you guys aren't bored all right so we have we nine hundred dollars and we're going to run straight ahead to the parking garage and we press this button, that'll open up this door, and what's behind it? Is it a Cadillac Escalade? It is a million dollars? Or is it like those dumb game shows where door number two gets you screwed? Nope, it's this freaky half stone snowman head that they used before in multiplayer, and there's the cleaver, and whoop, there he goes. And we're gonna buy it, and here we go. So, this elemental cleaver is a little different than the Jacinto one. They said they were all gonna have the unique properties. And this one definitely does. You basically become Avatar the Last Airbender, you know, the guy with the arrow on his head, and you can control wind. I mean, basically, every time you swing the cleaver, you release this huge gust of wind. It's a little hard to see, but it stuns the enemies and pushes back tickers, and it's awesome. So, I'm going to let you guys watch me mess around with this cleaver. If this helped you out, please let me know. Please like it and comment below. And always, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.